Hi everyone, Scorp here, back with another deck profile, this time of Beast Warriors, since I just went through the game with Beast Warriors, uh, figured I should show off what I would consider one of the strongest decks you can make with them. Um, so, start off with Sun Jinjin, is the deck leader, um, uh, it has the same abilities as Panther Warrior, so you can use that too, or Rabbit Horseman. Um, I just wanted to use him because you don't usually get to use him much. Um, so level cost reduction, so all of the 6 cost and 5 cost stuff that we're going to have in this deck is going to cost 3 or 4. Um, so basically this deck, if you play like one turn of playing a spell, a spell card, you're going to end up having enough summoning power to summon monsters indefinitely throughout the rest of the game, or at least that's how it'll feel. So, uh, level cost reduction is super good. Um, extended support range for the next two abilities, increased strength and increased movement for um, same type face-up friendlies, or increased strength is for all of them, movement boost is for all of the face-up ones. Um, remember it goes through Serpent Marauder special, so really, really strong. Um, starting off, uh, Temple of Skulls, uh, you guys know how much I hate spell cards. Um, yeah, let's just let's just say that I like Temple Skulls, and I, if I were ever going against other people, I might put three in a deck. Um, next up, three green kappas, three eye armors. Um, there's not really that many beast warriors in the game, especially not that many with great effects. So um, these are nice low deck, low deck cost, low um, summoning power creatures with great effects. Um, so, good to have uh, some of these in the deck. Uh, next up, three Battle Steers. Um, these could be Garuzis or uh, Root Kaisers. Um, these ones, this just costs 31 deck cost instead of 33. Uh, so, that's why I picked these. Uh, next up, three Battle Oxes. Um, these are only 1700 attack, but they only cost two stars, which is really nice um, because you can play one of these, and then the next turn you can follow up with a Rabbit Horseman, um, and overall that costs six. Um, so over the course of two turns, you the, these just help you with summoning power, um, and they're a pretty strong creature, to be honest. Um, 1700 attack for two stars is pretty good. Um, Rabbit Horseman, uh, this is the fusion form of Battle Ox plus Mystic Horseman. Um, yeah, it's just better to play Rabbit Horseman in this deck because it costs four stars anyways. Uh, so might as well just use them. Um, I have one Senjin Jin um, just because I had an extra slot. Um, and I wanted a little extra power just in case. Uh, just mostly just in case somebody throws a Dragomo in my face. Um, this can usually help get over it if it has just one equip. Um, yeah. Its effect against rock monsters is basically useless. Um, three Panther Warriors, these are also 2,000 attack like Rabbit Horsemen, um, so that's nice. Um, an Ancient Tree of Enlightenment, because we all hate traps. Um, two Forest, two Sogan. Um, we are using Beast Warriors, so we have we gain power up on both. Um, Forests are great against Fiends, Sogan's great against Spellcasters. Um, so it's nice to have the variety. Um, if you know what you're going to get up against, you can tailor this a little bit more. Um, and you can get rid of one of them if you want to for another Heavy Storm or something. Um, you've got some flexibility here, uh, but it's nice to have the ability to have up to six terrain change cards for yourself, if absolutely necessary. Um, Heavy Storm, this is great for going for lethal. This deck will do a lot of going for lethal, so Heavy Storm's pretty good. Soul of the Pure, um, it's a good defense card for stopping yourself from getting burned out. It's uh, really a shame to have that happen. Uh, double Dimension Hole, um, the only issue that you have is that your leader's kind of slow. Um, Dimension Hole lets you close the gap with your leader and then you can go for two or three turn lethals pretty, pretty consistently. Um, so 
this with the um, leader abilities to with movement bonus and extended support range, this helps you get into position for that and you can go extremely hard on opponents with that. Um, next up, there's nine equips in this deck. Um, since I'm not doing fusions, um, I have more monsters that I can just throw equips on. Um, a single curse breaker just to keep my deck cost down a little. Um, if you're not worried about deck cost, just throw in a Ryoku. Um, and then a Goblin Fan because I hate Ryoku. Um, so that's the deck. We'll go ahead and go duel a couple people. Uh, this shouldn't be... This should be a pretty good deck um, for you to play around with. Um, Beast Warriors are not the best archetype in the game, but they have their they have their moments for sure. Um, and if you're just trying to beat up the AI, um, it's a pretty solid choice for doing that. Um, so I'm gonna move this, this, and play this over here and hope she doesn't play something to kill it. But she didn't. So if you want to go really aggressive, um, I have the hand to go really aggressive. Um, I, I went this way because her AI should go to the right. Um, if I had drawn a single more, one more equip, um, I would have killed her this turn. Uh, now, if she goes to the other side and attack me um, with two creatures, I'd probably lose. But um, with what she just did here, she just automatically loses the game because I can just hit over the peacock for 500 damage. Uh, my other option would be to move up here um, and literally not draw the, any card that actually matters, so just in the game. Um, but if I'd drawn a single monster, I could have just uh, flipped it face up and attacked her again. Um, so that's just the power of Dimension Hole. Uh, yeah. Um, super, super quick game. Uh, let's see here. Next up. Um, just show that we have a better deck than uh, Richard Slicing. That's uh, always fun to do. Uh, so we both have uh, Beast Warriors. Wow. We play Eye Armor because of its lower summoning power. That's a trap dot gift. I will put that face down for when I go for lethal. Uh, sir. No. Not okay. Get those out of here. Double Acid Trapple. I should have dumped the Dimension Hole that I played. Now that he played a monster, um, I can just flip up the... Oh. I just win. Uh, 
Um, so I could have just flipped over my um, Green Kappa and attacked him directly for 2900. Um, I could have also just, after summoning that, I could have flipped it over and attacked him directly for 4500. So, yeah. What an unfair and very aggressive deck we can play here. Okay, so who should we go after next? Yeah, actually, Kaiba would be good. Actually, when I tested this deck, um, Kaiba um, mirror forced me and almost made me have a very bad day. But he got he, his AI tripped him up real bad. Um, I'm just gonna. get rid of this mountain terrain that we don't like. Who put mountains in the middle of Stonehenge? So, last time I dueled him, he did exactly what he just did, and the card that he played there was a uh, Mirror Force. And I didn't play around it at all. That could be 4,000. It could easily be 4,000. Uh... Well, if it's a blue eyes, they tie. single trap, so I don't know what he's doing. He's at 500. He's gonna have to destiny draw something here. Destiny draw is always far right. He did not destiny draw a card. Um, that is a Seiryu. Um, will not save him. And that's game. Again, um, this deck is incredibly aggressive. I can tell I've been playing a lot lately. <laughs> I'm doing fairly well on those slot rares. Um, I don't know. Here's a real big challenge for us. Um, this deck is probably not that great against this guy. Um, personally, if I ever want to go against this guy and actually beat him a bunch, I will custom make a deck for it, uh, and it's going to be closer to like the one for one deck or um, something else. Uh, well. Uh, I should have probably played the Ancient Tree first, just so he can't Gorgon's Eye me. Uh, that's a Gravity Mine, so it doesn't matter. Um, so everything but Force is uh, out of his abilities now, so... 
So remember to get this into attack mode before you flip over your forest, or you'll look silly. I know I've done this plenty of times. Sir, I don't care about the gravity line. I'm going to put my card back in defense. I don't feel like getting tremendous fire to death. So he played a summon skull there, it's at 4500. I don't actually have too much to worry about um, because he doesn't. His next Ryoku is only a thousand. Chakra. That's actually dead to the virus infection. That's kind of funny. Um, sir... I'm just going to kill the Summon Skull just to show that it's a Summon Skull. Um, but I'm just going to lethal him with the eye armor. Yeah, um... He should have moved to his left instead of to his right. But, you know, this is the eighth state of this game's AI. Yeah. Um, who else? Uh, they're always fun. Um, honestly, I think Ishtar is one of the strongest opponents you can actually face in this game. Um, she is pretty brutal. Mirror wall uh, can summon four or five twin headed thunder dragons from her deck. Which is honestly pretty ridiculous. Um, has a bunch of ways to change the terrain on sticks. Just really good. Um, the AI doesn't really know how to use field cards very well, um, but it does know how to use an Aqua Dragon. And I'll play a Panther Warrior with a couple of clips. Um, I'm kind of worried that she just started with a Mirror Wall. It could also be a Tears. Um, both of those are not great prospects. It's Tears. I'll be sad. It's not Tears. gonna take out whatever spell that was. Right castle. And there's the Aqua Dragon. But uh, uh, unfortunately for her, she is very much on the back foot already. Um, she just moved her deck leader in a way that I can just hit it with Green Kappa. 
um, and eye armor. Yeah. Um, here, let's let's uh, make this a little overkill. So I think I've already gone through five duels with this deck. Um, it is incredibly aggressive, uh, and it should be played that way. Um, and since it's not doing fusions, you can use nine, nine equips. You can go as much as 12 probably without fusions because um, fusions make your deck inconsistent. Um, equips also make your deck inconsistent. Uh, but... Uh, if you don't have fusions, you can go pretty heavy on equips. Um, so you could go with these nine equips plus three Ruryokus if you wanted to. Um, there's just a whole bunch of options you can do for this kind of deck, and um, this kind of deck is absolutely terrifying. Um, as you saw, I drew Temple of Skulls and my Ancient Tree against uh, the one boss, and that, that made him lose very quickly. So, uh, you can always change out cards, but this is where I would start with. So let me know in the comments below um, if you'd build it a little differently. Uh, but this is my version of Beast Warriors. Thanks everybody for watching and have a nice day.